Kevin, welcome to Vienna. After a strong run to the quarterfinals in Shanghai, how are you finding your back end of the season form? Yeah, it's the uh, you know, last sort of part of the year coming to Europe uh, after being in Asia. Um, yeah, I felt I played two, three really good matches actually. I felt you know, even my match against Novak, it was you know, very high quality tennis. I thought he played um, very well as um, you know, he demonstrated throughout the week winning, uh, winning the title there. Um, of course, it's a little bit of adjustment coming to the, in, uh, the indoors here, a little bit of a different surface, um, but really excited to hopefully have a very good two weeks here, both here in Vienna and in, and in Paris. Um, you know, it's been a, a, a place where I've historically enjoyed playing. Um, the last couple of years haven't had the results that I've wanted to, so definitely, a, as I said, excited to try and uh, change that trend and have uh, two, uh, two good weeks here to finish out our regular season. And is it feeling good being back indoors again, obviously having won a title indoors this season? Does, does that make the prospect of the last two, possibly three weeks of the season being very good for you? Yeah, it's actually quite interesting because, you know, the last few weeks I've actually spent quite a lot of time of indoors since playing, you know, US Open. I was in Chicago for the Labor Cup, which was indoors, and then Tokyo this year, change of venue, that was indoors. Um, Shanghai, of course, was outside, but now we're back indoors. So I've, I've sort of grown accustomed to a little bit now. Uh, obviously, indoors is different conditions. Uh, you don't dealing with the elements um, outside. Generally, the court surfaces, especially on the you know courts that aren't permanent year round, um, it's the ball reacts a little bit differently. So it takes some um, getting used to. Um, but you know, I've been out here for a couple of days, and uh, the court's definitely feeling good. And London's looking very much a possibility. Obviously, all being well, and you do make your first appearance there. How important could indoor form be in the build-up to that tournament? Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of good reasons to play. Um, well, for me to be very motivated, you know, this time of the year, and you know, definitely excited to, as I said, hopefully get a couple of good weeks here. Not only qualify for London, but you know, continuously improve my ranking and looking for the kind of results and hopefully tournament wins. Um, you know, two big opportunities here. And then, of course, if I'm you know, through to London, uh, it would be my first time there. To, you know, it's been a big goal of mine all year. Uh, so very excited at that prospect. But for now, I need to stay focused on you know, the job, and that's right here in Vienna. And you touched on a, a mixed bag of results that you've had here in Vienna over the years. But how much do you enjoy coming back to this tournament and this city? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just firstly, it's a fantastic city. There's so much history. There's so much to do around. There's some great restaurants, um, great sites. Uh, my wife and I really enjoy coming here each year. And then, of course, the tournament's fantastic. It's a 500 event. Um, you know, the player field year in year is one of the strongest all, you know, throughout the whole calendar. Uh, I think the crowds really get into it. They really appreciate tennis. So, you know, definitely always uh, enjoy coming back here. As I said, the last few years haven't had the results I wanted to here. So uh, looking forward to hopefully changing that this year. Well, thank you, Kevin, and good Great. luck this Thank week. you.